All right, hey there guys. Uh, before I screw up and not record anything, I just wanted to go ahead and show you that I am working on something for the haunted house. This is the electrical box. It's gonna be housing a whole bunch of these plugs and light switches that correspond to the plug. Uh, right now what I'm doing is marking all the chalk lines on the top piece of wood where I'm gonna be cutting and where not to cut. Um, this piece of wood is gonna be the back and I have a three by three hole cut and this fan that I got off the computer will be wired up to a 12 volt power supply and it will be cooling uh, the whole system from the rear to make sure that these guys don't overheat and catch anything on fire. Uh, I'll be back in a second. What I've done actually before I go is I've taken the back of this guy, put it down, and then marked a chalk line at the face of here to the back right there and then I did another one right here to show where that screw is going to be going into the wood um, and then I'm going to cut this entire piece this whole long board off so then all I have to do is just slide each one in there screw it in slide another one in and then I can go back and put all the cover plates on and then I've done that on the opposite side because the both of the the whole thing's gonna be a parallel system. Um, so I'll get back to you in a second. All right, so so far I'm pretty much just dry fitting everything into here. As you can see, up here I have a few gaps, but then as we start coming over here, focuses, we have an overlay where this guy overlays, and then this one overlays onto this, so there's like gaps underneath and this one bows inward where I uh, screwed it in and it's it's pretty crooked but what I'm gonna do is run some uh, silicone through all this all the way around all in here uh, run silicone just so that it doesn't get water inside of it um, so that's pretty much that like I guess whenever I was calculating how big the thing needed to be I guess I didn't measure everything exactly right so it kind of screwed up and all of these guys are gonna overlay these guys are gonna overlay and then whatever fits in here will just fit in here so um, bad planning on my part but live and you learn Alright, hey there guys, um, real quick, this guy is almost finished, um, as you can see I have all the switches and all the plugs in, and then I also painted the whole thing gray, just to kind of do like a little waterproofing, and it also kind of just makes it look a little bit nicer, not just wood. Um, all I have to do now is flip it over, wire everything, and then um, probably some of these I'll have to actually unscrew to wire up the ones that are closest to the wood um might have to unscrew those to wire them um heck i might have to unscrew them all but <coughs> uh, get all these guys wired up um and then i'll have to put on the back plate make sure everything works including the fan hook up some led lights make sure all that works and then uh i'll start putting all the cover plates on <coughs> marking everything what everything is on the cover plates and then it'll be done so look forward to that guys okay so what I've done is I have a grounded wall outlet plug I just cut it off of what it was from and then you get three main wires the white is a common the black is a hot and the green is a ground um, so what I've done is I ran the green into a wire nut and it jumped off to my main power plug and went to the ground outlet on that and then I jumped off of that and came up here now this one is gonna jump off to every single one of the other plugs and then from there it's going to jump off and go to each of the plugs that corresponds to the light switch. On the common, 
I just went straight into a wire nut and came out with all of the five common wires. These will go straight to the plug bypassing the light switch. The hot goes into here into a wire nut and jumps off and goes down to the in section of this light switch which is the one by itself on this side by itself and then on the other side you have the two and uh, what I've done is at the top one is where it comes out and then this will jump off and go to all the other light switches and then from the light switch it'll go to the plug so whenever this light switch is turned on, it'll go to this. When this light switch is turned on, it'll go to that. So um, it's a lot of a lot of wiring, obviously. That's one half of the plugs. Now I'm working on the other half. Um, now these light switches are different because as you can see, there's only two screws. These ones are easier and they're a lot cheaper um, by like a dollar and a half. Um, what you do on these is you actually have the power from the wire go in the bottom and out the top. So they're a lot simpler to uh, work with. And then your ground is up here. So that's that. Hey there guys, it is now time for the long-awaited COC. Alright, we're going to start with day one. Um, I know I wasn't going to do day one in COC, but I decided that I will. Um, I got three thumbs up, because one of them was me. I do thumb, put a thumbs up on almost all of my videos. Uh, 37 views, which was quite a bit, that's pretty good. Um, I do want to thank everybody for watching. Um, Riot Starter B commented that Hellmouth brought you here. That's great. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos. And um, <coughs> I know that I, I kind of sound like, uh, like I don't know, unenthusiastic. It's just because of the, the day I've had, which will probably be in next week's uh, video. But, uh, Bloodshed Brothers commented and said, welcome back. Feels good to be back. Awoken Nightmare commented and said, glad you're back. Or glad to see you back. Uh, Roadkill517, good to see you again. And, Dark Legion 75 commented and said, I see, hear your comments all the time over at Hellmouth. Enjoy your vlog, and looking forward to the next one. Um, so thank you very much. You gave me some links. I did go watch them. Um, I actually think that one of those videos I had seen before, so thanks very much. Thank you very much. Um, on to day two. Alright, I found a better area for the camera. Alright, so Awoken Nightmare commented and said, Nice job, great props. I thank you very much for that. Uh, sounds like it's farting in 12 volt power, uh, which is, he's referring to the, uh, the fish. Whenever I hooked it up to the 12 volt power, um, he said that it sounded like it was farting. It, 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 yeah, it did. Um, let's see. Hi, Priestess, Emerald Gypsy Heart, um, commented and said, so that's what Billy Bass sounds like, jacked up on speed? More power than required, lol. Yeah, um, quite a bit of more power than it was requiring. And the soon-to-be co-owner of the haunted house, Bray, commented and said, So where's Bray at? I don't know. You haven't been over in a while, so whenever you decide to come over. And we actually do work other than just sit around and talk about stuff, so... All right, on to day three, which was fun with physics. <coughs> and 
And so far, all I have on that one is uh, Capazone 2 saying, dang, no COC. Well, here you go. You got a COC in this video, and I hope you all enjoyed it very much. Um, what I'm going to do is real quick navigate over to my channel, and I'm going to try to read off all the subscribers that I have. Alright, what I'm going to do with the subscribers is just kind of scroll through here, and uh, if you see your name, there you go. Um, it's too many for me to really name, like read off. Alright guys, there you go.